Hey, it's Hanasaurus, and today we are back on the island on Ark Survival Evolved. And yeah, I don't actually know what we're going to be doing today, but I will go on a little flight with Sunset and see if any opportunities appear. I guess we can also use this as an opportunity to just scout around. So, we did head around this area in the previous episodes, so I think I'm going to be heading more this way, past here. Of course, we have been here, there's still our death beam there, where we died from megalodons and jellyfish. Actually, if we head up this river, I think we could find some uh, beaver dams where we can get some cementing paste, perhaps. Oh, uh oh, no, no, no. That is a snake. Titanico. I was out of stem and then I fell here. Ooh, that was scary. And bugs. I forgot there's a lot of bugs here too. Wow, it was not a really great idea coming here, was it? And there's a beaver. So there is cementing paste here. Oh, there's one of those snails too. Okay, I'm gonna dismount. Nope, no I'm not. I am not gonna dismount. I don't know what that- uh, yeah, there's too many bad things here. Well then, that was almost a near-death experience. Let's get some more stamina here. Alright, we don't need all this time at the moment. Or all this meat. Oh wait, the chitin. I would've took the chitin. Oh well. Um, but I do want some cementing paste, so we are going to try to head back down there. We have a level up for ourselves here too. Let's get some more health. Okay. Yeah, wow. Not a very safe area. So we have a Fioma there. That could be a potential tame. A bunch of snails too. Which I'm not quite sure. I think they help with cementing paste if you have a farm with them somehow. But yeah. Let's see if we head over this way. Okay, this is a swamp. This is not where I want to be right now. Especially since those snakes do some scary torpor damage. The last thing I need is my Tyranodon to be knocked out and then killed and then me left here to fight everything. Um, there's some more snakes back there. I don't see any beaver dams. Oh, but there was a uh, crystal up that way, right? I do quickly want to grab some of that to get a spyglass. That would help me out a lot. Yeah, there's even metal here. All the metal nodes. And I thought there was crystal here too. Oop. a nice carbon emiss here, it's like blue. Yeah, and there was a Valentine's Day update, so I'm pretty sure the breeding rates are higher. Alright, there is some crystal here. So we're just gonna see if we can grab a bunch. There we go, that should be enough. I don't want to weigh down my Tyranodon by too much, and then we'll just head back. Stop here for stamina quickly and get a level up. Alright. Then we're gonna go make a spyglass. And yeah, oh look, there's a lot of parasaurs here. I mean, one of them has to be good level. Since I don't think we have one yet. But we do have our moss chops to collect berries and stuff. So yeah, I think we are good on that. Alright. Um, oh yeah, I had the crystal on me. Let's go make a spyglass then. Whoop. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure I could just make it in your inventory. And then... Oh, forgot about crafting. What do we need? Wood? We have five wood lying around here, I think. Yep. Put that there. And then make a spyglass. Cool. I don't think I want a slingshot on me anymore, actually. I'll just make a bola or two. And we'll put the crystal here. Alright. Let's put some hide here. We have a lot of hide, but you can never have too much hide, so. Yep. And that is our spyglass. Oop. Pretty handy. Alright. Um, let's take one more flight around back there. Just to see if there's any beaver dens, which I would like to stop at. Alright, so over here is where it got kind of dangerous. There's just, wow, there's a lot of animals here. So there's beaver. There should be a beaver down this morning. Ah, uh, Dilo. Leave me be, please. Let's head over to this shore. I feel like this one's a bit safer. We have a Paraceratherium here, too. Um, our, we've got to be somewhere in the water. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw you. Ah, Titanoboas are kind of scary. Alright, well, let's head up here. Don't think I've been in this forest area too much. Kind of like a plateau here. Oh, can we not land on that rock? Okay. Let's just let Sunset eat up some meat. This is, yeah, this is a swamp, definitely. And there's redwood. So, two of my least favorite areas. Fly through here. What else do we see? Just a lot of forest. And then that leads out to the red obelisk. We'll land up here quick if we can. Yep. There's a stego there. Don't think anything else is too dangerous. Though I do feel like some of the larger carnivores would live up in these plateau areas, like the carnotaurus we had in the earlier episodes. Yeah, there's a bronto there. And it seems there's a supply drop there, too. Our base is back there, I think, though. Yeah, around here. There's always a supply drop here. Might as well go get it. Just land for Stam here. Oh, those turtles are mad at something. Or not. They're just kind of charging. Alright. Where is this supply drop? Right over here. Okay, it's just a white one, but we'll wait for it to drop anyways. Really? Right now? I don't like it. Well, we have a crossbow now. No arrows. Oh, that's not very helpful. Ah! Get a good no oh sunset's going for it nice no don't don't get the trike mad okay 
Yeah. I can't see it. Nope. Sunset, are you just gonna help me that one time and that's it? Is it annoying Pelgorn is here? Ah. Oh. Ah yes, I got it. Okay. Oh, I hate these thieving animals. Well, alright, there's the drop. Let's see, I bet it will only have basic supplies, but I could always do with more basic supplies. Alright. Oh, a lot of thatch foundations and stuff. I'm not sure if we need those now, actually. Yeah, probably not, actually. Oh, well. I guess that's helpful, though, if you're just in the beginning of the game. I mean, we do kind of have a temporary base set up for now, so we should be good. So we need to expand, though. Once we need more room for a fabricator and things like that, we'll probably move to a stone base, too, to keep it a little more defensive and safe. And, yeah. Alright, well, let's check out some engrams. I'll also do some levels here. Blubby has some levels. Uh, put some more to wait. Take that spoiled meat, too. Then Shellback 2 also has some levels. Go both into speed. Okay. Yeah, so now for narcotic supplies, we're pretty good with the narco berries because we have um, Blubby to help us harvest them. The only thing is, uh, spoiled meat can be a little bit annoying to get, but yeah. Also, let's make some arrows, so we do need more of those. That would have been helpful to take out the Pelagornis. Is this uh No, it's not. Need flint. Yeah, we've, we're have we getting this area pretty depleted of resources. So maybe it'll be time to move soon, but... Until, I would say then, first we should get an Argentavis so we can carry a bunch of things. Yeah, it's getting hard to find rocks here. Oh, there's some river rocks there. Give us some metal too, which is nice. And a good, decent amount of flint. Yeah, I wish I would have known earlier that those river rocks give us uh, so much metal, because that would have been really helpful. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I can make some arrows now. We'll just put that there. And on hand, yeah, ready to go. Cool, and then we'll just put metal in here to keep smelting. Oh, we're just burning wood for nothing now. Oops. <laughs> well, we do have a bit of more wood here. Yeah, and then we'll put our charcoal in here and our metal in here. Okay. Nice. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in the next Ark Survival Evolved video.